this is the envelope we got from church and this is the envelope when the pastor said open the envelope i did open it and i was like what's in here i was curious and guess how much came out let me show you because i always tell you things guys and you might not believe it this is a hundred dollars i got this and uh hi guys welcome back to this channel and thank you so much for choosing to watch this video so today i am going down to phoenix area and i thought you know what let me not be selfish and let me bring you with me so that you can um enjoy this road trip with me it's actually a road trip because from where i live to phoenix i'm going to visit my brother so i'm going to my brother's house and from where i live to this phoenix place is um it's like an hour can you imagine <laughs> so me and my brother we live an hour apart we don't live we are not neighbors yeah even if we are in the same state we don't see each other that much because we are we live an hour apart now you know now you know why uh, this American life can sometimes can get crazy people don't see each other <laughs> not unless uh, you make and create time let me tell you people can meet each other it's not like people don't see each other in this country but you got Darren can you reduce the volume please you got to create time for your friends and family if you don't then then too bad you know then you don't get to meet anybody and now I'm on this freeway this is the 10 West going down to the Phoenix area and I hope you're enjoying this trip with me you can see the roads are marked very well yeah you cannot miss your exit you can see those cars on that you know like if you're exiting you just stay on your lane if you're staying on the same lane you stay if you're going straight you know the roads are marked pretty well they're always constructing these roads down here uh, not just the Phoenix area but all I think every state they always construct something and that's good because you see where the tax money goes I am telling you so if you love my trauma vlogs this video I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it because this is pretty much travel right <laughs> just to show you out and about Arizona so right now this is Phoenix area and Phoenix is a very big city guys and it's a beautiful city I know right now you can only see the road and maybe somebody is wondering Betty you are not showing us Phoenix you are just showing us the freeway ah what is this person doing in front of me are you coming in or going out uh, this is near Sky Harbor have you guys heard about Sky Harbor if you ever heard about Sky Harbor if you're coming traveling to Arizona Sky Harbor will be your airport so make sure that you're booking your ticket to come see Betty AZ and your make sure the airport is Sky Harbor because that is the the main airport around here we have another small airport like Mesa airport but guess what that's not a very Mesa is not a very big airport you know it doesn't have all those international flights so that Mesa is not your best bet so Phoenix Sky Harbor is your main is our main airport here we have another airport in Tucson there is another play you know another town called Tucson Tucson is like two hours from you can see that that exit the people who are going to Sky Harbor they took the net that exit uh, if you're going to like Jefferson and uh, Washington Street you take this exit so I don't know if I am um, on the right late yeah I'm okay right here so yeah guys I tell you it's uh, been a beautiful Sunday I'm about to tell you and share the message that the pastor gave us or shared with us it was a very beautiful message i don't know if i share it on this video i think i will uh eyes on the road yeah i tell you so this morning i went to church right because right now i'm just coming off church and i took uh, the kiddos to their favorite mickey d 
Mikidi. <laughs> if you know, you know Mikidi, Mikidi. I hope you guys can see. And sometimes I do videos while driving and they um, they come out, you know, with a weird voice, yeah, uh, sound. The sound is not always very good, you know. So if this video comes out that way with a bad sound, like, please forgive me. I've tried a couple of videos, you know, doing videos and the sound was nasty, like pretty bad, you know. So guys, the at church, the pastor was sharing this message about giving, being generous, and how somebody blessed him when he was young, going to college. He didn't have the money. He took the courage to join the Bible school, and his mother did not want him to join the Bible school, but he decided to join the Bible school because the Lord had called him to join the Bible school. And yes, he did. And then the next thing is he was just like thinking, like wondering where the money will come from. And guess what? One time he was just sitting by the pool and while he was sitting right there by the pool, nobody was swimming. He was just laying there and some, some lady came to sit by him and the lady struck a conversation and he didn't want to share nothing with the lady because he was like and i'm sorry about this thing on the left on the right hand side is my my phone holder i don't know i can't help it uh because i'm trying to anyway so this lady she she struck she started the conversation and then uh, this young man is like uh -uh, I'm not going to share anything with you because I don't know you and the lady was like it's okay you can share with me and the lady and he was like uh uh so anyway 30 minutes down oh by the way guys this is the tunnel this is our tunnel right here you can see how beautiful our tunnel is I am telling you this is our tunnel right here don't know we have a tunnel in phoenix now you know yeah if you are in uh here in this tunnel just know this is like 40 minutes away from betty's house <laughs> yeah that's the tunnel right there guys okay so moving on with this story this lady started a conversation and then 30 minutes down the line she knew what was going on with this young man and the man, I think he opened up and he said he's wondering where to get the money for this college fee. And um, the lady was like, pray about it. And the guy was like, oh my God, everybody keep telling me to pray about this, pray about this, pray about this. And then he went back to the office because the office had sent him, uh, you know, like, you need money for your tuition and he the office was like pray about it and then now he meet this lady and the lady is like pray about it so anyway the next monday morning he went back to the office and he said i prayed about it but still i don't have the funds to pay for my college and the lady um and uh the the, the lady at the reception i guess at the office was like well you're good and the guy was like what what do you mean well, i'm good and the pastor said i mean and the lady said you're good everything is taken care of so what happened is the lady he talked to at the pool he went back to the office and he took care of his school fees you know the fan the college the the whole the college you know and he was so happy and blessed the lord and he went in there and he studied and then the, ne the next thing is they called him uh, something about summer to recruit people for like summer camps and stuff like that. They talked to him about his dress code, like he need to dress, uh, you know, like buy some, some clothes because I guess he wasn't dressing uh, nicely and he didn't have the money. And then he got uh, miraculously or God sent somebody to bless him with clothes you know like somebody to bless him and this person came to him like hey uh 
we are praying and we're looking for someone like you who we can become like parents you know support you buy you stuff buy you everything you know you need support you can you be ours can we adopt you and you know this story from the pastor it made me think sometimes we can be like we don't know who God sends our way God sends people to come and do to, to deliver the blessings God sends people God op, uh, makes a way through God can make a way through people you know and God can send a complete stranger to come in our lives and bless us so you never know who God sends your way you never know who God will use to bless you uh, sometimes we we all think our relatives or our families are the only ones who can uh, who can help us but God can send a total complete stranger to come and be a blessing in our lives uh, and like this pastor you know so anyway in the end I'll tell you the juicy part uh, this pastor because in in the in our church they don't hand at the plate you know to do the offering they don't we don't take the plates around for the offering so they handed us plates with some envelopes and they gave us instructions they say don't open uh, the envelope don't put money in it so the envelope was all the envelopes were sealed and the pastor said don't open the envelope just take the envelope so we were not supposed to put the offering we were supposed to grab an envelope you know so we grabbed everybody grabbed an envelope and we moved on you know so anyway uh, the, uh, when everybody everybody took uh, picked an envelope and the pastor said now you can open your envelopes and we all opened our envelopes you know and he said the money in the uh, the envelopes had money in it so I opened my envelope it had a hundred dollars the person next to me had twenty dollars the other had fifty dollars you know everybody had some different amount so the pastor said that money is not for you that money is for blessing somebody else this money you you are supposed to go don't spend it on yourself go and be a blessing and pray about it because you never know who needs it who never know who needs your help and guess what my god i've never seen anything like that i've never witnessed anything like that anybody blessing me with money at church we all know churches uh he talked about sometimes people think churches are for just giving 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 churches can can give you back can give back too and he said now this money is from the church go give to somebody be a blessing to somebody who needs it you never know who needs it so for me my hundred dollars I am keeping it I'm gonna pray about it because I have so many people with different needs but I I will pray about it for God to direct me where to uh, who to give that money whoop, whoop. I have arrived guys and right now we are just sitting in the car and i haven't told i did not tell my brother we are coming so i'm crossing my fingers and i'm hoping he's home because you know in this country you don't just go surprising people you might be in, a, in for a rude shock you know you might get surprised yourself if you go to if you come to my house like now you come into my house to surprise me uh, guess what you will be shocked because i won't be in the house and not just in this country anywhere i feel like it's weird when you're just popping in somebody and especially like now we had to do like an hour drive coming here it was like it's kind of a risk so i'm just crossing my fingers i hope he's home and i need to do i need to do my nails my nails are, have given up so bad so anyway this is the envelope i'm talking about this is the envelope we got from church and this is the envelope when the pastor said open the envelope i did open it and i was like what's in here i was curious and guess how much came out let me show you because i always tell you things guys and you might not believe it this is a hundred dollars i got this and uh this is not for me to use and guys this is how if you've never seen <laughs> how 
a hundred dollar note looks like this is a hundred dollars yeah this is not for my own expenses and just to make sure you know i'm a i'm a kikuyu girl i have to make sure there's no more money as an african you want to make sure so this money i am praying to god to direct me to help me know who i will give to let me tell you guys i am thinking uh for the far um for the first time in my life i will give here in america this money i will not give it to somebody in africa because you know what it's not just an, and and don't get me wrong it's um i have so many people who i can bless with this money in africa but i've decided that this money i will bless somebody who is already here in the u.s and you know some people might be wondering betty why are you saying that like people in america they are not they don't need money they don't need help yeah there are so many homeless people here there are so many people who who are really struggling not just homeless but there are so many people who are struggling in different ways others are sick others are this and that blah 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 but let me tell you even here in america people need help people people at this hundred dollar i if i give to somebody who needs it really they will appreciate it even if they are this can make a whole bunch of difference and let me tell you some people may be like you know what i got this money i'm going to spend it on myself please if the man if you get the money somebody say don't spend it on yourself bless it bless somebody else i am telling you just do what they said because that is greed if you are greedy and you want to grab everything and keep it to yourself then god is gonna be you know like god will see something from from you know this is like a test yeah and i hope i am making this message clear this is like a it's not a test they didn't give us like a test but that pastor the church trusted us you know trusted us like we are going to deliver the church might not be able to touch each and every soul out there who needs the money but they trusted us that we as the people who go to the church and the body of christ and people who believe in god and we are we faithful are we trustworthy can we be trusted with something with a message from the church because this is a message from the church so i will i'm, pr I'm gonna pray about it because i don't know for some reason there's uh there's this pass there's this um god is sending me a message who i'm gonna send this money to it might be strange it might sound weird but this person is here in the u.s and i don't know when i got this money the name of that person clicked in my head is that how god talks to you because i de i don't i don't understand i don't know people say god spoke to me god spoke to me for this is the first time i'm i'm having that um I mean this kind of experience like as soon as i got this money and he said bless bless somebody out there i got a name i don't know if this is the message this is how you know when people talk about they got message from god i got a name in my head you know i didn't hear a voice but i just got this person i have this person name stuck in my head right now and i don't know and i'll keep praying about it because i just want to make sure that this one touches the button you know does the job <laughs> god bless you for watching this video thank you so much guys for listening to this video thank you i hope you enjoy the drive here to phoenix and phoenix is weird guys it's a big city and phoenix you see a lot of people a lot of shops a lot of the different things it's not like my side of town my side of town is really quiet so guys take care god bless you i love you all subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like and share this video bye <laughs>